Howdy. I wanted to show you something that I added to the van. Oh, uh, one or two months ago now, I guess it's been. It's a Guta brand, G-U-T-A, tire pressure monitoring system. And uh, I will show you the screen here because it's so bright out, the sun right now. It's kind of washing the screen out on the video. So I'll show it to you later this evening and uh, let you see the screen better. When you receive this, they uh, send a USB cord along too that you can attach to the monitor unit. And they want you to charge it up fully when you first get it. Then once you put it on your dash, it has a solar panel which uh, charges, keeps the uh, monitor charged so you don't need to keep it connected to a power source. It'll uh, just run off that solar panel. And I, I, the reason I got this was when I was at Costco getting my tires rotated and balanced. I had them check one of the tire pressure monitoring system sensors that's in uh, one of the tires because it was uh, always reading low. And they said that it was just about to fail, that the battery was pretty much dead on it. And that uh, if it was going, probably the other ones were uh, soon to follow. So they wanted me to go ahead and uh, replace all of them. I declined it because I had one replaced about two years ago and uh, <laughs> that cost me it was 86 or 89 dollars with change um, between the cost of the sensor and the installation so to replace just either one or all four of them was going to be several hundred dollars so I declined it and uh, started looking around and I found this system it comes with these sensors that are labeled for which tire they go to because they come pre-assigned uh, and uh, programmed into the monitor that goes on the dash now you can reassign them if you want to you can recode them but as they come, you can just put them on the vehicle and they'll work fine. And they go on the, the uh, tire valve. And preferably, like my, t my vehicle, since it's a van, it's got metal tire valves, which are better than the um, uh, rubber uh, type because uh, the rubber ones, especially if they're extended uh, with the... Uh, this only weighs like a couple grams, I think, but uh, still it will, um, from the rotation, it will flex the rubber tower valve, tower valves, and especially if they're older, it'll cause them to crack and leak. So it's better to use metal ones. And there's also, I don't think you can probably see it, but there's a nut back there. Let's see if you can see it better on this back one here. Uh, now maybe there's a nut that they give you that goes on the uh, goes on first and then you screw on the sensor and then you tighten the nut up and back to keep the sensor uh, locked on and you can buy these uh, units with either four sensors six eight or ten sensors so if you're pulling a trailer you could uh, have all the tires uh, being monitored, or if you've got an RV with multiple tires. I did get the six sensor unit, and the reason I did that was so that I could put one on my spare tire. Because honestly, how often do you get underneath and check the tire pressure on your spare? I know I, I hardly ever do. So this way I can monitor it also and know that if uh, if I'd have to use it, that it's going to have air in it. Of course, I carry a pump with me, too, but, you know, I just like the idea of being able to monitor them all. 
So what I will do is come back a little later in when it's a little uh, less sun and show you the display on this and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Okay. Okay, so now that it's uh, not as bright sun, we can see the, uh, the screen of the monitor a whole lot better. And the car, there's a car icon, a car symbol, and there's also a trailer symbol on there. And I keep my front tires at about 70 pounds and the back tires at about 80. Um, of course, that's going to, you know, expand and contract due to heat. But uh, one of the things that I've done at the back of the vehicle symbol, there's a little uh, oval space there and you can use that as a spare tire but the problem is it doesn't show constantly to see what the um, what the pressure is on that tire you have to go through a menu and you have to select that so what I did was I used one of the trailer tires the one that says they're 79 uh, for my spare tire so it's constantly showing me what the spare tire is and that's the nice thing about this monitor it shows you all the pressures all the time and if you see right behind the um, the car symbol there's a little battery symbol and it's full up right now and that's because the solar panel uh, you know gets enough power that it keeps it charged up all the time there's another nice thing about this and if you notice the tire icons the tire symbols uh, they rotate around and flash like right now it's at the uh, left front and now it's over at the right front and in the back in the trailer it will show the temperature of that tire that's flashing so now uh, it's 50 degrees uh, now it's 48 degrees on the uh, left rear and the spare is 50 degrees so that's that's nice too uh, that's an added benefit to this not only do you get the tire pressures but you get the temperature of the tire and you can also set alarms for high pressure or low pressure and you can you can set it to uh, whatever you want and you can also uh, have a well it automatically has a uh, fast uh, pressure lowering um, what's it what how do I want to say that um, it has a fast uh, pressure fall alarm so if you have you know a quick leak or you know a uh, start of a blowout or something or you picked up a nail and it's starting to leak quickly it will show you an alarm to that uh, immediately so that's it um, pretty nice I really like it um, and like I said you can set the uh, the the sensors come pre-programmed for uh, on for the uh, monitor so you just have to attach them to the wheels but if you want for some reason to reprogram them to a different wheel uh, you can do that like I could have uh, reprogrammed one for the spare, but I actually uh, didn't want to do that. I wanted to see what the spare was constantly, so that's why I put it as a uh, trailer tire. So it's working pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. And um, uh, I, I'm going to put the uh, the cost. What? Um, right now I think the the six the four the four sensor kit is like hundred and forty nine ninety nine and I believe the six sensor kit is two oh nine ninety nine and then you can also get the uh, eight or ten sensor kits and they're of course higher too um, 
but I'll put I, I can't remember the exact price I paid for this I know I got it on a lightning deal and I got like 3150 off so I'll put uh, on the screen here whatever what the price was that I actually paid for it all right take care I uh, hope this helped if you're in the need of a uh, tire pressure monitor system uh, then maybe this one would be a good pick for you too take care We'll talk to you later. Bye.